Hey girl, it's Teresa Shea from Fly Fierce Fab and I am back with another new video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded on YouTube, but I have been pretty active on Instagram. Over there I've been uploading mini tutorials and lookbooks, so if you're not following me there, you definitely should. I am Fly Fierce Fab. Um, I uploaded a mini version of this highlight and contour routine which was requested and you guys also asked for an expanded talk through, so let's get into it. Alright, so first step here is you want to prime your face, set your base up for success. I've been using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Primer. I really like this one, y'all. Um, I have oily skin. I still feel like it works well, probably because it's winter right now, so my skin isn't acting up. Um, my makeup does last, and it makes my skin look really velvety. So next, you want to correct so your concealer and stuff doesn't have to work so hard later to cover up any areas of darkness. I'm using my P. Louise base for this, and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and above my lip. Basically, any areas where I might have like shadows or like slight darkness, you want to correct that before you apply your foundation. For foundation, I am using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC50. I'm just dotting that all over my face. So with foundation, right, you're making your face all one color and now it's going to look kind of flat because your face naturally isn't all one color. So after doing this, this is when you want to highlight and contour to bring back that dimension. So I highlight first and like Drake said, we got to hit them angles, right? So I'm using my Too Faced concealer. We got to find our optimal angle theta. This way we can get this highlight popping. So let's grab our makeup brush, our Pro Track. We're going to flip it around because we're working in the negative Y direction. We're going to work with a few um, equations here which should look pretty familiar to us just to find theta. I'm kidding. It's not that serious. <laughs> Basically what I'm going to do is take my concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes. Um, I'm using a shade that is one to two shades lighter than my foundation slash skin tone and I'm applying it in a triangle shape under my eyes. I bring it pretty far back because I have an oval shaped face. Um, you don't necessarily have to do bring it back as far as I did though. I'm also applying it on my chin, um, above my lip, down the center of my nose and my forehead and I'm really trying to blend that out. This is what's really gonna be key here. You want everything to blend well into each other. The highlight and the contour, everything needs to blend well into your foundation. You want it to look seamless. It shouldn't be like, oh, I can see where your highlighter stops. I can see your contour stops. So get all the way up in there, girl. Okay, so next you want to bake. Um, everybody doesn't necessarily have to bake, but I have oily skin, so I just find that my makeup lasts longer when I do bake. I'm using Patrick's powder to do this on a damp Morphe sponge, and I'm applying this everywhere that I applied my highlight, and I also apply it on my smile lines just to help prevent creasing in those areas later on. I'm dusting it all away with the foundation brush I used earlier. I didn't add any more product, and that is a tip I learned from Kiki Adams just to help prevent flashback. Ooh, get up in there, girl. Okay, so next we're gonna contour. Honestly, powder contour gets the job done for me. I don't really necessarily feel a need to like cream and powder contour. I'm using this palette by Black Radiance and an angled cheek brush. And I'm basically applying this contour to my cheekbones, my jawline, and my forehead, but only when I'm not wearing a frontal this way, like the proportions of my face don't look weird. <laughs> and then I'm going in and I'm cleaning up the contour along my cheekbones with more of Patrick's powder on that Morphe sponge. And then again, sweeping it away with the same foundation foundation brush that I used earlier. Now we've created that definition that we want, right? The face looks snatched, we see the cheekbones pop and the jawline is defined, we like this. So now we wanna bring back more of that skin tone color. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix uh, Powder, which is a foundation really, and it just um, gives me some more coverage and keeps everything matte. Then in between this, I didn't show it, but I applied some MAC Fix Plus just to help melt all my powders. And then I'm just finishing up my makeup. So I applied some blush and then I went in with like three different highlighters because yeah, I'm still extra. <laughs> um, I went in first with the Fenty Matchstick and Cinnamon. Um, I'm going over that with the Conceited Diamond Glow Powder from Artist Couture and I dampened my brush first with some Fix Plus from MAC. And then lastly, I'm going over that with the Diamond Veil from Fenty. My lip is real simple, girl. I'm just using Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC. And then I'm going over that with one of the new Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint shades in the shade Unlocked. I love this color. And I also love the formula. Um, I will say the shade is long lasting, but it does transfer. So if you're thinking about wearing this out on a date with Bay, uh, proceed with caution, girl. But yeah, that is basically it for this real, real quick and simple highlight and contour routine. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below and I will get back to you. You can catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'm Fab on all those platforms. Thanks for watching, stay snatched, and I'll see you next time.